Hi, this is Ahmed at the Online Prosperity Show. Today, I'm going to be speaking about my journey from zero to six figures while I was still in my day job. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than Ahmed. Ahmed, how's it going, my man? It's great. Going great. Fantastic. It's a sunny, a sunny day in Singapore and that's going great. <laughs> Good for you. On the other side of the world here, yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a lot of nice and sunny days again. Now, Ahmed is based in Singapore and he's working with coaches and trainers to help them fill up their rooms. And also he's on a mission to write a book that has a detail of his three-step process of which he's going to be elaborating and telling us all about today. He also has a Facebook group that is called um, dot com simplified that he's going to invite you a little bit later on if you behave now did i say that right ahmed yeah that's uh, perfect <laughs> <laughs> very well thanks now ahmed this whole digital space all right it reminds me of the time when i came to um australia with the backpack just full of hopes and dreams what's your story how did you end up in singapore um coming all the way from india I was born in a small town in India, so it's called uh, Kanyakumari, that's my district. So um, the speciality about my town is that you can watch both the sunrise and sunset from the same exact place. So it's one of the two places in the world. So that's where I started. So I did all my schooling, my uh, engineering and everything over there. And then uh, I pretty much started working as an offshore consultant for Singapore Airlines. Um, for and the technology space i am a software developer by uh, profession and by choice and by passion so so that's uh, that's my passion uh, to do something i mean like with programming and software development and stuff so that's how i started and then i was uh, a certain technology i was using was used by somebody in singapore and i was invited to singapore and then i joined the company it was a it was a, one of the largest private banks in the world so i was working with them for 6 years so while I was working for Singapore Airlines from offshore, I got these startup dreams of uh, starting my own company. Uh, I, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a new dream. Uh, I, I used to dream about starting my, having my own company and walking in the aisle of my own company uh, when I was like in seventh grade or something. So it was quite crazy. So, um, so all that while I had the dream of having my own company. No, I don't know why it was, but uh, all my father and my grandpa everybody is actually a working class person so i i had this dream somehow so i chased the dream so that's what happened so when i was in singapore um it's pretty much uh, i was working for the bank and i had i still wanted to start my own company so i tried various companies most of them failed and i didn't know where to go so um that's pretty much it so now I have a business. I just left my job uh, last week on Friday. Um, I'm full time. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, <laughs> I can see the entrepreneurial muscles are coming up. You see that that bicep that's coming yeah, up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations for making the leap. And obviously, we've been sort of following each other um, for quite a while. And your main thing is to help coaches. Um, and, um, you know, trainers to actually fill up their rooms. Tell us a little bit about your process and how you actually do that. So uh, this, is a, this is a new business. I, I've, I've been in this business of uh, digital marketing for the last two years. So initially I started helping the beginners uh, with building their own funnels. So then I realized that the beginners don't need even need funnels. They need to go out and hustle and get their first customer before they build any funnel. So I dropped that business altogether last, uh, last year. I started this uh, in 2015, November, and then I dropped that business uh, in, the la in 2016, November. And then uh, one thing I learned in the process is how to acquire leads through Facebook ads. Um, and then I was looking for a market. And suddenly one of my previous clients, uh, she had an event coming up and then we started that. Uh, she asked me to advertise it and I did it for free. And then that's how my journey started towards this business. So I've been helping coaches and uh, speakers to fill up 
free event rooms. He, most of them would have been to such an event where you will be pitched upon at the end. So, uh, so this that that is a very good way to convert uh, leads into customers because you have uh, three three hours of face to face time with multiple prospects, and uh, it is a good way to do it. So, how I do this is that it starts all the way uh, from research. So, initial thing that I do with my clients when they come to me is that I uh, jump on calls with their best customers. Uh, so the criteria that I follow for my clients is that they should have already uh, done an event before, or at least they should have an offer that is working and they have multiple customers. So obviously I'm not helping beginners because helping beginners form an offer that is an entirely different business. So this is pretty much like an offer that works and they know how to speak and they know to present and they know to pitch. So these are the people that I help. So primarily I help them do target market research. So I jump on calls with their best customers and understand why they bought from a product from, for example, Prosper, right? So I'll jump on a call with three of your customers and I understand uh, what you do and what is the perspective of the customer? What was their journey towards buying stuff from you? Right. So that is pretty much, I map it out. And once I map it out, I write the copy um, that, and, uh, and form the big idea that is required to market the business. So once the message is formed, then it comes to building the funnels. So uh, it's pretty much a very basic funnel, like a, a two step funnel. So you send people to the front page and, just they enter their email and phone number and then they register. Then, you know, then the next step is actually you show a thank you page and you know there is an email automation that goes out um, to to so so the, pro the particular process about events is it is not just about advertising and getting people to register. There is a whole new other area where you need to make sure that the people show up to the event. Okay, so that is an entirely different. Um, different thing than getting registrations getting registrations is super easy i would say with facebook ads and with uh, with funnels and with click funnels or whatever you can get the people but getting them to show up is a is a is a science by itself so i've been learning this science for a while and i mastered that now uh, it is pretty much about reminding them and indoctrinating them so so i have a two step um, two-step thing that I do. One is that indoctrination. Indoctrination is about uh, connecting them with the product that they will be uh, pitched at the event, right? So making sure that they, uh, uh, getting them ready to buy the product as well as getting them ready uh, with the basics before the event. So getting them warmed up to be at the, at the event, making it, uh, making it uh making them curious to come to the event so this is one part of it i call that an indoctrination sequence so uh, it ranges anywhere from three emails to like five emails it may be even a facebook ad that goes to them like three videos shown one by one to them so it's pretty much like an indoctrination sequence and then from there we go to reminder phase where just before the event, like three or four days before, we do a reminder sequence, which is through emails and SMS and maybe phone calls. So this is pretty much the secret formula I've revealed uh, for making people to show up. So, so if you know how to get the leads, then this is the way to make people show up. Well, it, it, it's not secret anymore, Ahmed, because... It is not secret, yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like holding secrets. I give it away for free. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Well, thank you so much for telling us your, your process there. Now, I want to divert back a little bit. You did mention something that piqued my interest, as in you said beginners, people that are just starting out, they don't actually need a funnel. That is something that is so profound. And you know what the mainstream is telling people? The mainstream is telling them you need a funnel, funnel, funnel. You need one to hack, hack, hack. You need to hustle, hustle, hustle. You know what I mean? And you're, one funnel, you're one funnel away from being a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and all of that <laughs> hogwash, clickety that, clickety this. Uh, I understand where you're coming from with that one. So can you just really, um, you know, um, some of our viewers are people that are probably really uh, starting off in their business and they're really trying to figure out how they too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And, um, you know, the, the, the market is telling them you need a funnel and there you are, you're saying you don't need a funnel. What sort of steps would you encourage somebody who's actually really starting since you've been working with them before so that they can actually now start to have a business that's actually functionable in as much as they would work towards maybe two, three years down the line when they can actually need a two-step funnel, not a whole seven series sequence with a tripwire and... Every, <laughs> uh, I mean, there are responsible marketers who actually tell them that you need to be making at least 10,000 a month in order to get, in order for you to buy this product, which allows you to build a funnel, right? So people like Scott Olford, he actually up, says it upfront, you know, if you're a six figure entrepreneur, then I help you build funnels. Uh, so that responsibility is not present in all the marketers out there. So what, uh, so the point is, um, initially, um, initially I struggled because I'm a techie guy. All right. I'm a techie guy. I know to build websites. I know to set up anything. You give me a, you give me anything in my hand. I know to, you know, even, dissect it and give even, even a suicide bomb. Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. So, <laughs> so the thing is, uh, uh, yeah, so so um, initially I struggled because I started websites. All I do is that, that oh, I want to do So I've started services like, uh, you know, logo design company and stuff like that. You know, that was my initial days, like four or five years back. And I started logo design company. I don't even look for uh, customers. I actually build my website first and make it good looking and, you know, have a logo by itself and, um, you know, putting it up together and everything. That takes months, four or five months. And I do it because I'm comfortable. I already have a job and that is paying me. I'm not, I'm not desperate for customers, but that is the wrong way to do it. And about like four or five products that I tried like that later, I realized I'm doing something wrong. So that's when I got introduced to Noah Kagan. Um, so Noah Kagan has a course called uh, uh, Entrepreneur to Entrepreneur. Um, it, is, it is also called uh, $1,000 a month business. So it is actually to allow you to make 1000 bucks, the first 1000 bucks online. So that's when I uh, jumped on to Noah, Noah's course. And then I, um, here's the thing. When you're so comfortable in a position, and you're not desperate to move from move away from that situation, you will never take action. That's the biggest mistake that I did. All right. right. So I bought these courses upon courses upon courses upon courses. Content, spend, content saturation. You are just consuming and consuming and not even putting in any action. Nope. Information overload. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I follow Noah? Should I follow Frank Kern or should I follow uh, Jeff Walker? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it is, it is, I mean, uh, I have the money. I have the credit card. I just swipe it and uh, buy it, you know, but the point is that I wasted a lot of money because all these courses were just sitting with logins in my email box. I never logged in. Gathering, never gathering internet dust. <laughs> bits and bytes <laughs> so so uh, at one point uh, I did okay uh, at one point I became desperate I became desperate that I need to change away from my day job because I started to I mean I'm the entrepreneurial personality type so I easily get bored when I'm doing the same thing again and again it's not that I hated doing what I was doing. I love my job. I love the environment. I love my, I mean, like whatever, and my colleagues and everything, everything was fine. But I hate doing repetitive stuff. And you don't I'm get to speak to people like me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. So that, that's the thing. Like, I mean, you don't sync up with people. You don't sync up with people. All my colleagues talk, uh, talk, up, uh, colleagues talk about is, uh, oh, uh, am I going to get a raise next, next year? Am I going to, <laughs> who did that and who did what? They talk about people, right? So um, 
so uh, that i mean now uh, i was going out with them but somehow i didn't connect well you know so things uh, things started to change i um i bought these courses and i invested some money into uh, some, some borex stuff and all i lost some money and then i like my credit cards were piling up and uh, that's when i realized oh my god i am it what are you doing you're just buying stuff you're not taking action and uh, uh in fact in fact i actually started a company i actually start, joined a mentorship program it was uh, it was called founder institute it is from silicon valley so they help um, the day jobbers to start their own business and uh, set it up in a proper way so that was a good introduction but the point is i'm not a sales and marketing guy i was not a sales and marketing guy i was a techie i can build stuff i can create stuff it's it's super easy for me so i was there 80% of them were sales and marketing guys 20% were techies like when they called but techies okay i'm techie like I look around two people maybe three or three of them right so only so that that it was that it is that rare in singapore to find a techie it's pretty rare here right so uh, techie the startup area area not uh, if you look at corporates then you would find so in startups it's very difficult to find techies so so there i was i started that company and i and i uh, that mentorship program was pretty much like uh, you finish the program and you get to pitch to vcs for funding hmm. right so i was i was dreaming that okay i'll create everything i'll create the pitch deck and i go and present with vc the vc is going to invest 100000 on me right so that was my dream that was my goal and i joined the program at the end i had everything i had my slide deck ready i had a product ready i had everything ready and i go and pitch to two three vcs and they say i mean not not literally but they said get out right so, <laughs> <laughs> so okay that was that was i mean honestly honestly it was i mean um, looking back at it now it wasn't a product that somebody uh needs right there are needs and wants so it was it wasn't a product like that, it, that they it, in spite it, it, yeah it's it like I mean, why I mean, build it? you eat it on enlighten me what 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 it's, product it's, was it it was a corporate i mean i was uh i'm in this business process management uh it's called a it's it's a tool that we use in uh, corporate companies to automate processes that happen in the bank or you know a bank or a company whatever so it uh, it is pretty much the simple example of a business process management is a leave approval process so you apply for a leave and the manager approves so that's a simple process but when you go to uh, areas like banks and all the account opening process is like a very long one like it takes 3 days to open an account right so some something of in some, i mean the bank that i worked for it's like a pretty niche bank so they take 3 days to open it sometime i mean maybe they can do it in a day but pretty much there is a process to do that so this process we outline it in the system and then the system takes care of the uh, slas and stuff like slas in the sense like you need to complete it in like 24 hours or 4 hours or whatever those slas will be ensured by the system so that's what I was, and look at that okay, there were like hundreds and uh, hundreds of bpm tools business process management tools and i said i want to make a simple bpm tool that a small business can use so that's where i started and then by the time i was in the program uh half of the program they actually kick people out if they don't do a good job in that program right even though i paid i get kicked out if i don't do a good job of validating the business or whatever right i mean like preparing what they say me to prepare I, I, they ask me to prepare if i don't do that they kick me out so uh, literally at the mid of the program uh, one of the vcs who came in he told me this is a crap product right so literally that happened and i was like oh that was my dream and like i was broken completely and then um, then i started a new business, new product and then that was something programming related um, so it's called ruby on rails uh, it's a programming language so i did something for that and uh, at the end i finished and i got invited by one vc to pitch him he asked me to send the pitch deck i sent to him never got a reply i never followed up and ended and then i looked for i said okay i suck at sales and marketing i don't know a thing about it 
I <laughs> concluded, I concluded at that end. So that was six months later. All right. Six months later in that program and doing stuff, I concluded I suck at sales and marketing. So, so I went and looked, looked for partners, right? So I looked for partners who are sales and marketing guys. Um, literally that didn't work out as well. You because couldn't sell to them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I couldn't sell to them. <laughs> so I didn't get, I didn't get a, I mean, I got a few partners, but the synergies didn't go well. Right. And that also dropped. Right. So altogether, I, overall, I tried for two years. I'm a very resilient person. I tried for two years. And wow. in the, in the process, I, I went from like, uh, I, uh, um, I'm a very tall, all guy. So I'm like 102 kilos at that time. I was like 102 kilos at that time. So I went from 102 to like 126. I was like this fat guy <laughs> over that two years period. I never cared about me. All I wanted is my day job. I, I finished it and then I hustled and I worked on this, right? I, I mean, it wasn't proper hustle to be frank, right? I, uh, looking back, I, I didn't, I didn't focus on sales and marketing. I all focused on preparing the product prototype and stuff like that. So that's when it triggered. I need to learn sales and marketing. The thing, the point that I didn't know anything about it and the point that my, um, the partnerships didn't, didn't go through well. So I decided I need to learn some sales and marketing, but, um, so, uh, so at that time, at that time I, I was, I was pretty low on cash at that time itself. You know, I, I couldn't manage because I, I had I had two kids at that time and yeah, your, your, your uh, cash family. was sitting in your hard drive. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so 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 it was uh, was pretty crazy. So to uh, so I had two kids and uh, I was living in Singapore, which is one of the most expensive cities in the world. All right. So so um, uh, so it was crazy. So uh, at that time, I decided, okay, I need to make a change. I need to learn, learn sales and marketing and I need to make money. So, um, so that's when I, uh, got a chance to volunteer for Jordan Belfort's event. It's a sales event, you know, Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street. All right. So he was in Singapore for three, three days and I got to volunteer as a, as a, um, uh, as a, usher. as a volunteer, mm. as a, yeah, usher. Yeah. Kind of. So, so, um, so I went in and, uh, the, the, the advantage we get is that we get to listen to his workshop. Okay. You know? So that's the only, that's the only advantage we get. We don't get paid any money, but yeah. So, so that was awesome. So in that one, if there was one takeaway from that, that was actually, he said, take action. All right. Take action. That was the biggest takeaway. And I, all the time I had different dreams. Imagine I'm dreaming since seventh grade. It's not, right. it's not for a short time. I was dreaming for since seventh grade and I will take, I, I never took action. So I, on that seminar, I made a decision. Okay. I am going to make a change to my health first because I was 126. I was like super, uh, uh, super low in my health profile. So I, I, I couldn't run. I couldn't like, if I, if I walk, I just get <laughs> so kind of, uh, kind of very bad situation. So I'd made a decision to make a change on that. So I, I pretty much encountered at that time, I encountered a coach, uh, who, who, uh, who was looking for, uh, beta customers. Uh, you know, he was helping people to lose weight, uh, with, from Romania. He was sitting in Romania and coaching me in Singapore. So he said, I need, I'm looking for like 10 people to join my beta group. So I joined and I was paying him like hundred bucks a month. And then he gave me strategies on how to cut down on bad food. I was, I was drinking two Cokes a day. Uh, <laughs> what happened so, to Ahmed? <laughs> I kill you. So, 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 so. So, so the point, um, at that point, uh, he actually, uh, changed, changed my behavior towards food and towards my exercise routines. And he built routines on me. So it was a very strategic guy. Uh, he sat in Romania and was coaching me in Singapore. Well, like six hours, uh, difference. So it was great. I mean, like over a year I was back to 105. Wow. So 
So it was very strategic. It wasn't like a tactical, like, you know, lose weight in 30 days or whatever, but he was like really, really checking my behavior, right? Oh, am I eating the right food? Am I, re- am I doing the right exercises? But he doesn't give me like go to the gym and stuff like that, but pretty much strategic. So that was the first impression I had on coaching. All right. That's, that's pretty, yeah. that's pretty profound because um, it, it is quite a journey. And thank you so much for sharing because at the end of the day, um, you might be watching this right now and you um, may be going through all the things that Ahmed went through. Uh, you might be maybe stuck in your day job right now and not knowing how to escape off of that. Or you might be really struggling to build your business and it might not be working the way that you want. You can, t- you can see or you heard Ahmed you know, relating his story that it took two years for him to actually finally get to take action and maybe things are not working your way. Maybe things are not working, um, you know, in the, in the way that you anticipate them, but just be patient. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, obviously, so you went through that coach and then you recovered back your, um, you know, your, your, your health. And now you've got this business that you're helping coaches and trainers to actually fill, um, you know, their rooms. Um, it's, it's very important to note that you also got inspired from an event um, and then now you're helping other people to um, run their events. Are you also taking something off of that event except the take action that you're imparting onto the coaches? So um, I don't know. It's pretty much uh, looks like it's my destiny or something of that sort, you know, because it came to me kind of a uh, feeling because I was trying a hundred different businesses and nothing worked out. Okay. And I was, um, so that's when, I mean, like, so let me finish that story about the coaching, right? Oh. So the coaching, the coaching, once I got results from the coaching, I said, okay, so this is the way to go. I need to get the expert advice, get an expert's advice to do things. So if I do it, then I shortcut the process because he, the, my coach uh, actually was like, he lost about a uh, hundred pounds uh, in about seven, eight months, you know, so that's, that's how he started and coaching others. And then it worked for me. And then like, okay, so that, that was the coaching part was really good. That was a great takeaway. Somebody to hold my hand, somebody to tell me what not to do and somebody to do, tell me what should I do? So I, um, I looked around and then I looked around for a, a coach for sales and for to teach me sales and marketing. So I put down the last few dollars that I had on my credit card on these two coaches. I had a, I had a, I mean, like I worked with a sales coach and a marketing coach. So these two people uh, helped me build my business from scratch. So, so the point is that I, I really wanted to make a change. So the sales coach had a mastermind meeting every, every week I need to show up and then I show, okay, what did I do towards sales? I did, did I prospect? Did I do, do generate leads? Did I speak to me in leads? How many sales did I make and stuff like that? And the marketing coach, uh, he pretty much uh, taught me the system to, you know, about funnels and stuff like that. So, so that was the thing. And then again, uh, so my business started, uh, with these coaches. So I was in the group, I was the only techie in the group. So a lot of people, they were like coaches and trainers as well, but they didn't know anything about technology. So my initial business I started was through that. I was interacting with people and stuff. And uh, from there, uh, one of them asked me, can you build the funnels for me? And that's how my first dollar was made. And wow. from there, from there, uh, from there, I packaged it to a high ticket package uh, with my marketing coach's help. So, and then, um, and then the, uh, I was charging about 4,000 uh, for three months to work with them for three months and build their funnels and stuff. So that was my first uh, high ticket sale, right? So, so it, was, it, was all, it was all possible because I was able, somebody was there to handhold me. Somebody was there to tell me, hey, Ahmed, this is the process. This is a system you should follow. One, two, three, and four, and five, and then you're done. So I was inspired by the way a system can help you and handholding can help you. So, so that's why I was, I was, I'm so passionate about this coaching, um, coaching business because it, you're helping people change lives. Right. <clears throat> right. Well, it's changing changing the lives of people, their 
situation, their finances, maybe, their life, maybe their relationship, maybe, you know, coaching, coaching industry is growing. That's one thing financially, but really I have a connection. I have a deep connection because I got results and it changed my life. I mean, honestly, with the, with the way I was going 126, I would have gotten a heart attack. Yep. You know, definitely. Because, definitely. Yeah. So, so, I mean, it changed me, it changed me, it changed my posture, it changed my, my skin color, for example, you know, I was, I was, I was getting, I mean, like, it's all toxic food. I was eating McDonald's and KFC and uh, Coke and stuff. Now, I mean, uh, after I worked with the coach, I, 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 com- I completely avoided it for a long time, but yeah, I, I ha- have it now, but occasionally, not very often. So, so that's the thing. So, it it actually changed my life seriously if i didn't work with that coach i would have been in a completely different situation this is not about money this is not about business this is about me i am in a better position i am living today because of that one year coaching so i'm pretty connected to this area you know what can a coaching change a person's life and i i'm working with them, multiple coaches at this moment successful coaches and i'm seeing well, I jump on calls for my customers to their customers to understand how was their transformation to get testimonials and to get, to get, to do research and stuff. So I'm, I'm listening to them and I like, sometimes I get tears, you know, from where they were, how they were transformed, you know? Uh, So, so, um, uh, so people being suicidal and coming out of the suicidal uh, state and stuff like that. This, this is life coaching, right? So life coaching is just uh, um, that that's, that's what they help people with, right? To connect with their own self, to understand their strengths and stuff like that. So these are people, this is very connected to me. I'm very passionate about this coaching niche, not because there is money in it, but because it is, it changes lives. And that was my dream as well. When I started, I wanted to, uh, I took this Steve Jobs quote, which said, you may get dent in this universe. So this is my way of doing the dent, right? Changing people's lives through the people who are doing it already and helping them impact more lives. So that is how it started. And uh, the event business uh, came in after, like, I mean, I was working, as I said, I was working with a lot of uh, starters working with starters is very difficult Mm -hmm. one reason is that there is a lot of emotions that go towards their head and and as i said if they are comfortable in the state they are in they will never take action to move out of it so people there are there were times when people paid me and they never show up right they never show up honestly they never show up and i follow up and follow up with them follow up with them they don't respond. He sometimes jump in on the call and then like talk for an hour and then say, okay, I'll take action. And then I'll come back to you next week. And they, and they disappear. <laughs> disappear. So th- it's, it's a, it's a hard business to be. And ethically I found it a very bad to be, uh, you know, getting their money and not delivering them anything. So, so, uh, I mean, so that, that's, that's why I moved out of it. I mean, honestly to say it, I didn't 100% move out of it until like uh, two months back. So I said, no more done for you implementations. I will not do things for you, but I will consult you. So there are, I, have, um, I have clients now whom I help get started, but it's 100% coaching. So I don't implement stuff for them. I, I, and I tell them strictly, work with me for three months. I, t- I help you, uh, I help you uh, validate your business. And I help you set up the systems that you would need. So I, I help them make their first 10,000 and then move them to the funneling side. So that's, that's something I, I do it very less. I don't do it. Uh, I don't do it for everybody. I choose the right person to do that for. And that is like, I, I right now have only one person who I'm doing it for because it's very hard to find people who take action. Exactly. And only if you take action, I do this because it, there's a lot of investment from my end uh, in terms of energy and time and everything. Um, I, I only accept serious guys for that. Right. So that's, that's, well, that's one thing, but, but on a scalable side, I'm doing this, uh, event marketing for other people. Great stuff. So, you know, um, a coach or a consultant might be uh, watching this video right now and they really 
you know, are intrigued by your story and, you know, would want to know a little bit more about um, um, how they too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. How can people get a hold of you? I'm on Facebook. Uh, that's the best way to get all of me at this moment. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I just left my job last Friday. So uh, I didn't all this while I made over six figures in sales. I'd never had a website. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's why I say you don't need a website to get started. So that's the reason. So I'm, I'm uh, getting my website live. Uh, it will be at ahmedmuzammil.com. Uh, just my names together.com. So um so that's the that's that would be the best place to reach me great stuff well or obviously Facebook profile great well if you've been watching this show uh for a while and following us and especially watching today's um you know edition with ahmed you can realize that a lot of things happen with tenacity you've got to put in the work you've got to have the right kind of systems you've got to have the right kind of people to mentor you um, and coach you and put you in the right direction so that you too can actually have a happier existence and some other people will just maybe try and dabble onto something you really have to go all in if you really want to get results and actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. That's the reason why um, every now and again, we bring in experts and people that have actually done the talk and walked the walk and you know are actually having results for themselves so that they can share and enlighten us as to how they have achieved the success that they have. Now, Ahmed, have you got any sort of last words for us just so that we know, um, you know, that you know, what, whatever advice you might give to other people that are starting or people that are already on their journey, um, just so that they can keep soldiering on. So uh, if I look at me five years back and I give an advice, I'd give uh, three things. One is focus. Because if you look at entrepreneurs, they have hundreds of ideas. They don't do any, anything and then just end up there. So choose one thing work on it for three months. If you made your first dollar, then that's your business. If you, if you go around with three, a uh, hundred different things and not make any sales, you're not going to get anywhere. Right? So that's the thing. So the, number one is, uh, uh, oh, sorry, I lost my train. So um, number one is focus. And number two is a uh, system. You need a system to do it. Right. And the thing is, you can look out for any of the coaches there who already have results and who already have delivered results for clients and you can work with them. Right. So they have a proven system that has worked for hundreds of people, which means that it can work for you as well. Right. As long as your business fits into their profile and uh, they can help you, you have the belief, then you could work with them. So system and uh, um, system a proven system. And the third thing is get somebody to hold you accountable. A mastermind group, for example, right? Jump with a, I mean, find, find like-minded people, maybe your friend who's on the same journey, get on a call every week with them, discuss what you're going to do next week. And then what you're going to, what the other person is not going to, what the other person is going to do for the next week. And then every week catch up, check why you are right so that is that is the third thing so these are the three things essentially that help me move forward and uh um you know now going to live my dream right of being an entrepreneur full time so that that is what moved me forward so focus um system and mastermind Great stuff. Ahmed, I can't thank you enough for the value that you imparted on us today, especially your last words um, about talking about focus. Focus, follow one course until successful. 
once you put your mind on the price and you're going full steam ahead, great things will happen. And as you would see, if you want to follow through with um, Ahmed's journey, I will be putting down details about his dot com simplified group that you too can join so that you can be a part of all this energy and you know the direction and the systems that is helping other people to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. In the meantime, thank you so much, Ah Ahmed. Thank you very much, Prosper, for having me here. Well, thank appreciate you it. for your time and your value. And if you've been watching this video, please share this video and subscribe to our channel because we are on a mission to help you have a successful business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. How do you think we went? Oh, uh, it's great. I mean, uh, some things that I didn't reveal anywhere came up. So <laughs> it's an exclusive interview. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I know. So, I, I know how it, how it, how it will work. Okay.